Yeah. So do you need any physical healing? Yeah. What physical healing do you need? Um, oh, okay. Please come. Please come. He said, go to him. Go to him. Go to him. No. Okay. Okay. Now, all this time, were you praying about the cancer, or were you talking to the cancer? Uh, were you praying to God yeah. to heal you about the cancer? Yeah. Okay, is that what the Bible says? To the cancer. The Bible doesn't say pray to God about the cancer. The Bible says Jesus, when he hung on the cross by his wounds, yeah. you were healed. 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 Now, is there a difference between God saying you were healed and you saying God, please heal me? Are you both in agreement? No. You understand my English? Yes. Okay. So God says, by his stripes, you were healed of cancer. Okay. Jesus was wounded so that yes. you are healed of cancer. Yes. Okay. What are you saying? You are saying, God, please heal me of cancer. Yes. So are you both in agreement? No. No. So what do you need to do? The first thing you need to agree. So the first thing you have to change your thinking from God will heal me of cancer to God has healed me of cancer. So do you have any physical evidence? No. But now does faith, is faith about physical evidence or Bible evidence? Faith is never about physical evidence. Faith is always about Bible evidence. Bible evidence says you are healed. Physical evidence says you have got cancer. Which one do you choose to believe? And if it is the Bible, will you be rejoicing or will you be sad? Because you are already healed. Now, when you can keep that mind full of what God said, then you will see the manifestation. Do you have any pain in your body? No. Okay. Now, Jesus said you can speak to the tree. Right? Yeah. When was the last time you spoke to cancer? Mm. Never spoke. Mm. So uh, have you got the authority to speak to the cancer according to the word of God? Am I going too fast? No. Did Jesus say, if you have faith, you can speak to the tree? Yes. So if he said speak yes. to the tree, can you speak to the cancer? So did you exercise that authority? No. Not yet. No. So are you ready to exercise that authority? Yes. And when you say, be dead from the root, did Jesus say, it shall obey you? Yes. Just read that again. Yes. 17. Yes. Just read, read, just read that. If you have faith, come on, read it. Yes. Yes. And the Lord said, Listen to this. If you had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto the sycamine tree. Okay, let's change it from sycamine tree to cancer. cancer. You might say. You might cancer. say unto this cancer. Okay, what will you say? Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Is this promise given to you by Jesus? So do you believe in that word? Yes. So from now on, will you be saying, God heal me? Or will you take authority over cancer? Take authority. So are you supposed to speak to cancer or God will speak to cancer on your behalf? Uh, so from today, yes. will you say cancer? <laughs> you are dead from the root according to the word of God. So is it time to dance and celebrate and rejoice? Or is it still time to cry till the reports come? Dance. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. 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 Did you get that? Amen. Hallelujah. So Father, I thank you for this understanding of the truth. And you said, Jesus, when my word abides in you, you shall know the truth. And the truth will set you free.
Thank you, Lord, that this sister has understood the truth. And she has got this truth through the preaching of the gospel. And it is you who has promised us that when we believe in you and we trust in you and we have faith that comes through the Bible verses, Bible promises, Lord, you said we can open our mouth and say. So in the name of Jesus, I and the same sister, we say together, in the name of Jesus, we speak to that cancer in the body. You are cursed like Jesus cursed the fig tree and he died from the root. In the same way, cancer, we curse you, we rebuke you, we bind you, and we cast you out of this body. Your spirit of infirmity be gone out of this body right from the root and be planted into the sea and never come back again. And according to the word of God, you shall obey us. So, in the name of Jesus, cancer is gone and all the organs in the body are now once again recreated and they are functioning perfectly and all malfunction has stopped in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, according to your word that she is completely set free from cancer and every report has changed in her favor saying there is no more trace of cancer in Jesus. any part of a body Thank in you, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have said it and we believed it and you said, Lord, it shall obey us. So thank you, Lord, for making that cancer obey us and be completely destroyed from the root Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So from today, what will you say? So from today, what will you say? Now, no need of speaking to the cancer. Now, keep saying, cancer, you are destroyed in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord. I am completely healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? Amen. Did you understand the yes. truth? Yes. yes. And keep yes. on understand. Keep on using your tongue. Yes. Yes. So, the yes. next time somebody says, how's cancer? Oh, it's all dead from the root. Yeah. And yes. what about you? I am completely healed in according Jesus. to the word of God. That the word says, by stripes, I am completely healed. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.